Congratulations on purchasing a Gentle Leader head collar. Now you have a unique, kind, and effective way of walking, managing, and training your dog. The Gentle Leader is a head collar and not a muzzle. Your dog will be able to pant, eat, drink, play, and bark while wearing his Gentle Leader. The Gentle Leader is the number one head collar recommended by trainers, veterinarians, and behaviorists. The key for you and your dog to enjoy the Gentle Leader is proper fit. An incorrect fit can cause your dog to paw or resist the gentle leader. So please take a few minutes to follow these simple steps and get it right the first time and you'll be off to a great start. Throughout the fitting process and during initial use of the gentle leader, motivate and encourage your dog with praise and special tasty treats. If your dog is especially active, have someone help you by feeding treats while you fit and adjust. Please fit your dog in a quiet indoor space to ensure a stress-free and safe environment. When properly fitted, the gentle leader will look like a V with the neck strap high and snug at the back of the head and the nose loop loose and comfortable at or just behind the corners of the mouth. Before we fit the nose loop, let's take a quick look at its parts. The gentle leader consists of two nylon straps, a nose loop which ends in a leash attachment ring, and a neck strap which fastens with a quick release buckle. The nose loop and the neck strap are joined together by a center bar ring. The nose loop is adjustable for a custom fit with a sliding snap clamp. Open the quick release buckle and hold one end in each hand. The nose loop should hang down, giving the appearance of the letter T. Fit the neck strap high up and very snug just behind the ears and against the base of the skull. You'll need to take it off your dog once or twice to adjust to the necessary snugness. Adjust the length by pulling the loose end through the male side of the buckle, then test the fit again. Gently ease any bunched up fur and skin back under the neck strap. The neck strap must fit very snugly so that only one finger can barely fit under to prevent rotating around the neck. At this point, the neck strap should be snug and the center bar ring should rest just above the dog's tracheal area. Initially, some people feel concerned that the neck strap may be too tight. Observe that your dog can freely breathe, pant, and take a treat. This is because, unlike ordinary collars, the gentle leader fits high at the very top of the neck against the skull in the back and above the tracheal area in front. See for yourself how this position doesn't hurt and doesn't restrict <coughs> breathing. It's only lower down on the neck like the fit of ordinary collars where pressure would cause discomfort. <coughs> Now we fit the nose loop. First, unsnap the neck strap. The sliding snap clamp has a locking tab that should be open to allow it to move along the webbing. Slide the clamp down to the leash ring. Pull the nose loop up through the center bar ring. Now open the nose loop. Hold the nose loop open and invite your dog to place his snout through the loop. When your dog puts his nose even partially in the loop, say yes and give him a treat. Don't move toward the dog during the process. Let him choose. If he doesn't move to place his nose in the loop, just remove the gentle leader for a few seconds, then try again. If your dog is still hesitant, you may want to try having your dog simply touch the gentle leader and then receive a reward. Remember, you are not in a hurry. When your dog is comfortable, slip the nose loop over your dog's nose and fasten the neck strap at the base of the skull. Now adjust the sliding snap clamp of the nose loop upwards so that the nose loop is positioned in front of your dog's eyes and behind the corners of his mouth. Firmly pinch the nylon just below the snap clamp to prevent it from sliding down and gently pull the nose loop forward to test the size. It should be loose enough to pull forward to the fleshy part of the nose, but not so loose that it could come off. This loose fit will ensure maximum comfort for your dog. When you find the right size, press down on the snap clamp to lock it in place. It will require firm pressure 
and you'll hear a click as it locks. If you need to readjust, take the gentle leader off your dog. To open the snap clamp, press up hard with your thumb or slide a coin under the tab and twist. Check the fit each day, especially on growing puppies. Remember, the gentle leader works best and is most comfortable for your dog when the neck strap is very snug and the nose loop is appropriately loose. When fitted correctly, your dog will be able to breathe, pant, drink, and eat while wearing the gentle leader. Let's take a look to make sure you have the proper fit. You can reference the guide that came with your gentle leader for even more detail. First, check the neck strap. Make sure it has a snug fit. Barely one finger should fit underneath the neck strap. Make sure it does not rotate. Rotation can cause chafing. It should be positioned just behind the ears. Second, check the nose loop. The dog should not be able to rub or pull off the gentle leader. It should be loose enough for your dog to freely open his mouth. The snap clamp should be closed completely. If your dog is fully grown, you might want to cut off the extra length on the neck strap. Once you've adjusted the neck strap snugly, place a mark several inches away from the buckle. Take the gentle leader off your dog and trim the neck strap at the mark. Then seal the cut end with the flame to prevent fraying. If using the gentle leader on a puppy, make sure your dog has finished growing before trimming the neck strap. For most dogs, the gentle leader will produce positive results within the first few minutes. This is a new experience for your dog and we recommend that you take your time introducing the head collar slowly. Taking small steps in getting your dog used to the gentle leader is an excellent tool in maximizing the effectiveness and success of the head collar. We want your dog to love putting on the gentle leader. It may take your dog some time to adjust to the new sensation of the gentle leader. Try these helpful hints during the first week before actual use. Have your dog wear the gentle leader during mealtime. Put it on immediately before they eat and take it off immediately after they are finished. Put the gentle leader on your dog twice a day for three minutes or less. During those three minutes, do not go for a walk, but give your dog treats and praise or playtime. After about a week or after the dog is eager to wear the gentle leader, put the head collar on, include treats and praise, then go for a short 5 to 10 minute walk, consistently giving praise and rewards. Consider doing this at home or in the yard for the first couple of times. Do this for the following two days. Flat Nose Dog Caution Follow instructions carefully when fitting and using on bulldogs and other breeds with genetically limited airways or flat noses. It is not uncommon for these dogs to frequently experience breathing difficulties when exercising or under stress because of their physically limited airways. If their usual breathing difficulties increase when wearing the head collar, immediately discontinue and consult your veterinarian. With the gentle leader, it takes minimal tension on the leash to give your dog a gentle and clear signal that you want him to change his behavior. It's very important that you release all tension immediately as soon as your dog is doing what you want. In essence, this is what you're saying to your dog. Tension on the leash means no, that isn't what I want you to do. Release the tension means yes, that's what I want you to do. It's important to learn proper timing of releasing the pressure on the leash. If you're used to holding back a pulling lunging dog on a traditional collar, you have unconsciously gotten used to holding the tension on the leash. If you keep constant tension on the leash with the gentle leader, it will send a confusing signal to the dog, causing him to fight it. Never jerk or yank on the leash. A smooth, gentle redirection is all you'll need to communicate positively and effectively with your dog.
When you begin your first walk, stand to one side of your dog and grasp the leash. Allow enough slack on the leash for your dog to walk by your side, but not enough slack so that they can begin to pull ahead. Begin by walking forward and encouraging your dog to come alongside you saying, let's go, or walk, or another cue you may use. When your dog is walking calmly next to your side, there should be absolutely no tension on the leash. As he walks at your side, give a treat and encouraging praise. With proper introduction of the gentle leader, many dogs accept it without any fuss. For others, the new sensation of wearing something on their face feels a bit strange. They may react by pawing, rubbing, rolling on the ground, standing on their hind legs, or lagging behind. These are the same kinds of reaction a puppy has the first time he wears a collar. If your dog is comfortable with the gentle leader, but still shows some of these behaviors during a walk, the best strategy is to ignore those behaviors and redirect him to a more pleasurable activity. Distract your dog from all the fuss by luring him with a treat. You can hold a treat in your closed hand to encourage him to walk forward with you and reward him with the treat after he has walked a few steps without fussing. Gradually increase the distance he needs to walk before he gets his treat. You can also hold a toy in your hand or toss it on the ground a little ways in front of him to get him to go forward for it. Just be sure you allow complete slack in the leash when he moves forward to get the toy. Pat your leg and use upbeat words to encourage him to walk alongside you. Keep a normal steady pace. Always remember to release all tension on the leash whenever he's doing what you want. The gentle leader is a great tool to use when taking your dog to the veterinarian. It can aid in handling and maintaining control during a potentially stressful situation. If you are experiencing more complicated behavior problems or simply would like additional hands-on assistance, we encourage you to consult with your veterinarian, local trainer, or behavior specialist.